Jim, you know, has a lot of friends out there on the tour, and and they've they've really helped us, and and you know they've shown up when we needed them, and every year, you know, we say where are we going now, and Jim just keeps kind of coming up with uh, with a strong field. The 2009 foursome for the Exelon Invitational, presented by CBiz, may be the best yet. Masters runner-up Kenny Perry teams up with the third-ranked player in the world, Paul Casey, to take on the event host Furyk and Ryder Cup star Anthony Kim. The event benefits the Boys and Girls Clubs of Philadelphia. Furyk didn't have any trouble getting the guys to come and play. Jim, um, you know, not only one of the greatest competitors in, in the golf game, but uh, a true gentleman as well. And uh, um, you know, I've seen both sides of Jim, and when he approached me and asked me, it was a no-brainer. This is a huge outing. Uh, do a great job. They raise money for the Boys and Girls Club, which is, I started our chapter in Franklin, Kentucky, the Boys and Girls Club there. We uh, broke ground about three years ago, and uh, we got over 500 kids now at, at there, and it's a pretty exciting, you know, when you can raise half a million, 250,000, whatever they're raising for those kids, uh, it's a pretty neat day. Kim makes the most noise on the course with this perfect shot on a par three. The venue is appropriately named the Ace Club. Kim's shot lands softly on the green and rolls in the cup for the hole in one. Played 212, played a little down, a um, little wind behind us and hit a five. And I didn't really see it going. I saw the reaction of the crowd, and when everyone raised their hands, I knew it was pretty good. Kim's hole-in-one accomplishes two things. First, it allows him to buy up the rest of the beer for the gallery. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> nice ace at the Ace Club. And second, it puts the match out of reach for Furyk and Kim, who defeat Perry and Casey 3-2. and two. But the result of the match is not the most important statistic. This event is really a combination of sort of community outreach tied around golf. It costs the city of Philadelphia between fifty and seventy-five thousand dollars a year um, once they pick up a kid from the street who needs any kind of treatment or any kind of special attention. And the, the Boys and Girls Club keep them off the street for five hundred bucks a year. After eleven years, the Exelon Invitational is ending. Fjork will continue to support the Boys and Girls Clubs in other ways. Just goes to show you time goes fast, doesn't it? Time does go fast. You know, when I started this, I wasn't one of the older guys on tour. <laughs> uh, I think the fans had a great time. We look back, we raised over $1.7 million for, for local charities in this community. Uh, I think it's all smiles, and I'm happy and proud to say that.